Hello everyone, your girl Tay here, and I'm bringing you another Let's Talk Wild podcast episode. Today is January 4th, 2024, and this is episode 53, The Animal Guide to New Year Resolutions. I hope everyone had a great start to the new year. I know most of us are making our vision boards and resolution lists. So this week we'll discuss how animals can help give us inspiration and achieve our new year goals and resolutions. But before we get into that, make sure you follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. You could support the pod by becoming a subscription member. You could go to my podcast website on Buzzsprout to sign up. I'll have the link in the description box. Also, hit to YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and check out the videos over there. Once you're done listening over here, you guys already know the drill. Now, let's talk wild for the first time in 2024. Oh my goodness, wild talkers. Hello, hello. Happy New Year. Happy 2024. I hope you guys had a great uh, new year coming in, a, a good New Year's Eve coming in. And I hope you guys are starting the first week of the year uh, doing well and better than me, honey, because I've been feeling under the weather, okay? It's no script today. I was like, I'm not doing, I'm not writing a script. It's been days and days and days. And I was like, I'm just going to wing it. I'm tired. I don't feel good. And it's just a mic in my thoughts today, okay? <laughs> Period. Just straight, straight off the rip, okay? That's how I'm coming in 2024, okay? Just just sit down, say, give your thoughts, the mic, you know, you know, I write the script when it's more of the scientific research put in about the animals and stuff like that. But today we're just going to talk about, you know, how the animals just give us inspiration uh, and can help us achieve our new year goals and resolutions. And I know some people like to uh, set goals, small goals, big goals. And others don't like to set goals and resolutions uh, resolutions for themselves at all, you know. So they just like to go with the flow of things. I know a couple of people like that. I'm like, do you have a New Year's resolution? And they're like, um, no, I don't do those. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry that I asked. <laughs> like, um, I don't do, do those. But I do those. Um, I know some people... They start small, like me. I start small, you know, get my membership, podcast, subscription members up. That's like a small goal, step by step, step, step by step. Then I have bigger goals and stuff like that, which I, some things I won't tell people. Some of those goals are just personal goals for myself. And then goals and uh, uh, resolutions just come in different forms. So we're going to, you know, dive into all of that because for us, the ones that like to participate and make resolutions, <laughs> we can always look to the animals for inspiration and help. So we're definitely going to dive into that right now. Actually not dive, honey, because y'all know I like a good pun. We're going to soar into that right now, spread our wings like the birds, and we're going to soar above the drama in 2024, just like the birds, like the birds is flying above, soaring above. We're going to be drama free for 2024. You know, you have to cut things out, out of your life that don't serve you. And that means, you know, people, friends, family too, you know, just cut all of the drama out. If you're trying to live a peaceful life and you know, the situation that you're in at the moment is not giving you clarity, isn't giving you peace, a peace of mind. You need to figure out a way to remove yourself from that situation or remove whatever is causing the unjust in your life. You know, just soar above the drama. Sometimes you just don't need to feed into um, negative things. I know the internet is a negative place. A lot of people like to um, just bash people. And sometimes you just cannot read the comments, you know, that just soar above, honey, like the birds, you, you so high up and high up in the air. You can't even see those comments, baby. It, it don't even matter. Cause you're so above, you know? And, um, like I was saying, you had to cut out sometimes friends and family, but sometimes you have to take the high road as well, you know, and, don't be afraid to work on 
uh, family re- relationships. We just did a podcast episode in December, uh, the last episode, Animal Family Dynamics. You know, you have to sometimes take the high road. You know, you know that one cousin, when you go over your grandmother's house, that one cousin always got something slick to, to say. Honey, soar above it. Soar, soar above it. And don't even feed into it because you know your cousin is a jokester. They like to get a rise out of you. They think it's funny. Just don't, just don't do it. And just like the packs of animals, you know, you can work on your family relationships. If you want to talk to your cousin and say, hey, listen, this hurts my feelings. Every time you do this, you single me out or whatever. Then you you open your mouth. You say something. You don't just let it continue and continue because then you're just setting yourself up to continuously be talked about or joked upon and you don't like it. So say something. You know how your family can be, you know, jokes all the time, honey, at your expense. And, you know, they might not think it's, you know, something wrong with it. But then it it hurts you. But if you don't say anything, they can't change their behavior. And if they don't want to change their behavior and how they treat you or regard you, then uh, keep a pushing. So like the birds, honey, you're going to soar above the drama. And, you know, like the packs of animals, you're going to work on your family relationships because it's nothing like having a great uh, family dynamic, a great village, because it takes a village to raise children. Okay, that's another thing. Focus on your children like mama bear, papa bear, uh, all the, the, the animal mamas and and animal (laughs) dads okay focus on your children I know um people work a lot you know they're working single parents out here busting their tails to provide the best for their children and um sometimes the children suffer because it's like okay yeah you paying for all of this stuff but I need you there you know so be more present if you're that type of parent you know be more present because children won't say anything to you they won't say anything they'll be like oh I don't want to be a burden my mom my dad they're they're working they're single or both parent parents are just you know doing what they need to do and you know they don't want to seem like they're that extra burden on you on you so you know just focus on your children if that's what you want to do you know focus on your relationship your love life like animals that mate for life Uh uh-huh like many species of species of animals like beavers honey y'all didn't know that (laughs) i did not know that i was like beavers are monogamous honey they make for a life beavers okay honey they build them dams honey they build up their homes and um they they settle down and 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 they locked in for life okay just like them uh daggone dams built they're locked in like those logs okay (laughs) so focus on your love life Um, If you're dating, if you've been in a relationship for a very long time, make sure you guys keep doing things to, you know, spice up the relationship. You know, you don't want it to get dull. You don't want it to get boring, especially if you have children. It's like you guys are so focused on the kids, kids, kids. You sometimes get lost and, you know, the romance goes away. So set up some date nights, honey, get you a babysitter. Okay, y'all hear me? Y'all listening to what I'm saying? Okay, get a baby babysitter and you know just go out on a town honey <laughs> I was like I want to sit in a car and want to and I want to make out <laughs> like them in the movie <laughs> like put your arm around my uh head rest of my uh chair my seat and just you know lean in and give me a little kiss like I want to be kissed like in the movies I want to make out in the car honey <laughs> so you know I got to do a Let's Talk Wild After Dark segment, okay? I might have to do that, okay? I might have to do that on YouTube. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. But, um, yeah, so work on your relationship, your love life. And if you are insecure about your body and that's why you're not, you know, putting yourself out there to find love or date, get on a good workout plan, honey. Get on that gorilla buff stuff. Okay, or you can get your body toned like a deer. I don't know why I thought about a deer, but honey, the the deers, their bodies be 
you know, just toned and I love it. So, you know, get in shape, uh, work on your health, you know, make sure you're eating your, your, um, vitamins and your herbs and you're exercising and you're getting your blood work done and you're just checking out all of that stuff, you know, just, you have to be healthy within and then, you know, it will radiate on the outside, you know, because you know when something is wrong, honey, sometimes people be breaking out on their face. Like that's like underlying signs that, you know, something is going on in the inside. It'd be like a lot of stuff. And it'd be like, honey, your face is swollen. What's going on with you? Your face is breaking out. What's going on with you? And people don't even be, you know, thinking about that stuff. So just make sure you guys are making sure that you are, you know, getting your blood work blood work done women go and get your pap smears and all of that stuff uh get aids testing if you guys are out here you know just make sure you guys get all of that stuff done okay i want to make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves now you can help me achieve my new year's resolution by subscribing and following let's talk wild on youtube and on all social media and podcasting platforms you could support the pod by signing up and becoming a member you could go to my podcast website on bus out to sign up i'll have the link in the description box now let's crawl back into the show cutie animals now if you're not looking for love and it's completely off the table you can always work 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 (laughs) like rihanna says work 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 That should be the worker bees. Yes, that should be their theme song. Work, 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 work. <laughs> yeah, so focus on your business. If you don't have um, a love in your life, if you don't have children, and you just want to, you know, get to the paper, honey, get to the money, you're just work, 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 okay? Working on your business. And that's, you know, fine and dandy because hopefully, eventually working produces income and like the squirrels they eat some of their nuts and then they save some so all of that work producing income make sure you save some of that money okay put some to it to the side you need to make sure you have your uh retirement all of that stuff life insurance all of that set to the side you know just in case something happens uh get a will a living will okay all of that good stuff and you know, just make sure you have all of those uh, things set in place. Now, with saving money, you can also spend a little, you know, it's it's not fun when you work, 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 and you can't have girls just want to have fun. Oh, girls just want to have, you know, <laughs> holiday. If you can't take a, uh, yeah, can't take a holiday, uh, mm, mm. If we took a holiday, mm, 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 that's my song, yeah, celebrate, okay, so save your money, but also enjoy, you know, so like animals that migrate and travel, travel more, go to some places, and even if you uh, can't, you know, go out of the country and stuff like that, you can do uh, staycations in where you live or go to a town next to your city or a state next to your city or, you know, cause honey, I'm from Maryland, but I will go to ocean city. I will go to Atlantic city. Um, I will go to Philly and I will go to New York, honey, with the quickness period. And that's just what it is. Okay. So, If I need a little quick little vacation, honey, I know those states, honey, will hold a girl down, okay? And even my own state up with Ocean City, honey, will hold me down. P.O.P. Hold it down. (laughs) And, um... Yeah, so make sure you guys are having fun, traveling, saving your coin, but also having a little celebration. Yes, okay. (laughs) Holiday. (laughs) And um, hopefully you guys have some travel buddies. If not, and you're like the lone wolf or you're like solitary animals uh, that just are on their own, roam on their own, just do things on their own own you have time to like focus on yourself just like them they have time to focus on themselves uh they don't have a pack to worry about they don't have to uh find food to like 
give to everybody and and share and stuff like that so it's just like they have time to focus on themselves do things their way and um yeah if you guys are alone woof you can do that as well work on yourself focus on yourself uh you can take trips alone just be careful you know um locations on send all your information to family members and stuff like that uh so yeah work on yourself uh just always try to like be a better person than than you know what you were before you know especially if you know you weren't such a good person and I know people that have admitted that they weren't such a good person in the you know past but now they are great people um and yeah it's all about reflection and uh, looking back on things and trying to make yourself better, make your situation better, your lifestyle better. You know, you can't just be stagnant. You know, it just it just doesn't work out like that. You can be stagnant, but you're just going to be miserable just in that spot. Now, if you want to be stagnant and just, you know, stay on the course of what you are doing and that and you're happy, that's fine. But a lot of people you know, do goals and resolutions. We want to be better than what we were. You know, we want things better for ourselves. And uh, like the fish, they just keep on swimming. Like the salmon, they travel a long distance. They be jumping up in the streams. They do their best. They use all the energy that they have to travel to get to their spawn area because that's their end goal in gold to spawn and you know lay their eggs and have the next generation you know going so you guys just keep going just keep swimming keep flying keep diving keep crawling keep all of that stuff going keep going don't ever stop because all the hard work that you put in with your business your family yourself oneself you know it will eventually pay off. And sometimes people can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. But you got to keep digging, baby. You think the moles is out here just not digging? No, they digging. You think the rabbits ain't un under the ground digging? They digging. Okay? So, <laughs> not the, the moles and the rat. <laughs> we talking wild, baby. 2024. But yeah, just keep going. Um, don't give up on yourselves. And I just hope that 2024 gives you everything that you hope and wish for. And I hope you guys can accomplish all your goals, dreams, and resolutions. But you guys let me know what you think. And do you guys have any New Year's resolutions that you have set for yourself? Let me know. Are you one of those people that are like, I don't want to tell you or yeah, I'll tell you, you know, because <laughs> y'all don't think it's bad luck to tell somebody your goals or your resolutions for yourself and stuff like that. But let me know. Leave a comment and let me know how you feel about today's topic, the animal guide to New Year's resolutions. Leave a comment, follow and subscribe to the podcast on all podcasting and social media platforms. Don't forget that you can now support the podcast by joining the monthly membership subscription. You can go to my podcast website on Buzzsprout to sign up. I'll have the link in the description box. Love yourself, one another, your pets, and the animals. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>